Hello everyone. In this tutorial we're going to use surfaces to model an organic face. If you are new to surface modeling, please check my six beginner tutorial on my channel. There I give a quick introduction about surface modeling and I show you some of the basic features. I will also show you how to insert an image and how to use the auto trace option. We're going to start with a sketch on the top plane. From the origin we're going to sketch a circle with a dimension of 95. Then we're going to insert a plane. We're going to leave the sketch to features. And we're going to offset this plane using the top plane as a reference. We're going to offset it by 275. Then we're going to insert the image on this plane. Click on the plane. Then we're going to use this tool called Sketch Picture. And if you don't see this tool right here, you can insert it. You right click on this gray area. And you go down to Customize. You go to Commands. To Sketch. And here you will find the tool. You click on it and just drag it over here. So let's close this. Then we're going to use sketch picture. I'm going to select the file for my second profile. Give me this file. Let's make sure it's in the middle. Doesn't have to be precise. As you can see, this is a silhouette. And now we're going to trace the silhouette, and that's going to be our second profile. But before we have to insert another tool, go to Add Ins. And then over here, you can select the auto trace option. We're going to click on our picture and we will go to next. We'll pick a color and then we're going to trace the silhouette. Okay. And then you can see that we have a sketch here. As you can see, the auto trace option trace the silhouette, but it does have some imperfections and you can always change it afterwards. So we're going to the sketch picture again, click on it. Then we're going to change the transparency of the sketch. We go to full image. And then we can clearly see our sketch. And we click on the sketch and we're going to edit the sketch. And here we're going to select the spline, go to spline. We're going to trim these lines. We're going to make these tangents. The rest looks fine. We're going to leave the sketch. We're going to hide the plane. And then we're going to connect these two profiles with a loft. We go to surfaces, lofted surface, select this profile and this profile. Then we're going to set the end constraint as normal to profile. Okay. Off 
After that, we're going to fill this surface. So we're going to click on Filled Surface. Select this edge. OK. To make it a little bit more organic, we're going to trim the edge. So we're going to select the front plane. Select Spline. And draw a spline. Looks a bit like this. And let's make these horizontal because this will be our trimming tool. Click OK. Then we're going to insert another plane on this point. We're going to go to Features, Perfect Geometry, Plane. We're going to use the right plane as a reference and this point. And then we're going to draw on the plane. We're going to draw another spline. We're going to connect the spline with the sketch over here. Then we have our two lines for the trimming tool. We're going to go to surfaces, swept surfaces, and select these two lines. Click OK. Then we're going to select trim surface. We're going to select the trim tool. And we're going to select the surface that we want to remove. And click OK. And then we can hide the trim tool. After this, we're going to knit the two surfaces together. So we select knit surface, click on this surface and the bottom, click OK. And then we can give it a thickness. We're going to select Taken both sides and we give it a thickness of three. Then we're going to make the bottom a little bit heavier because it's a face. So we're going to select the bottom face, sketch, and select covered entities, go to extrude, and then we're going to extrude by 15 millimeters and we're going to extrude with an outward angle of five degrees to finish the product we can add some fillets so we select fillet make this edge three the inside also three click ok And the only thing we have to do is add some fillets on the edge, like fillets. And then we finish the outer edge with a fillet of one. After that, we can give it some material. So let's select clear glass. And our face is finished. Thanks for watching.